Hello folks, in this century we'll be taking a look at Stormfront from the Amazon series, The Boys. The Boys gives us no shortage of villains dressed up as heroes, but when comparing their intrinsic motivations, Stormfront is arguably the most devious of them all, or at least so far at the time of this video. In her public persona, Stormfront comes across as unabashed, witty, and candid, showcasing a level of authenticity that makes her somewhat endearing both to the public and to her peers. She isn't afraid to stand her ground and encourages others not to conform to the role that society imposes on them, which we see when she tells Starlight to go against the image that Vought expects of her. Part of this confidence can be attributed to her superpowers and to a lesser extent her old age. As she appeals to Starlight, they are both bulletproof, so what's the worst that can happen? Stormfront is also more than a century old, and naturally as one gets older their ideology is likely to change over time to care less about what others think. Due to this old age, she has had the unfortunate experience of watching all her loved ones pass on, which has left her with an emotional void. This remains one of her redeeming traits, that deep down beneath her atrocities she is still a family woman who genuinely loves her husband and daughter and would likely go to great lengths for their sake. This maternal side is also seen in her interactions with Ryan, albeit for the devious goal of separating him from his own mother. As someone who has lived through several generations, Stormfront has had to adapt to the changing times. On a surface level, she has done so successfully, flaunting her skill as a social media influencer and her ability to keep up with the current trends. She does have a keen understanding of what drives human behavior, in particular the power of anger to stir up the public. She tells Homelander just as much, saying that you don't need 50 million people to love you, you just need 5 million pissed off. When it comes down to it, Stormfront is a woman driven by anger herself. Anger from her German state's loss at World War II, anger over the loss of all her loved ones, and in the current time frame, anger from her own discrimination against the minorities. With all that resentment built up inside her, there is bound to be some form of eventual release. For Stormfront, the most notable form of catharsis appears to come in the form of her sadism, most notably expressed in her mentioning to her victims that she likes to see the light go out as they take their last breath. Given what we know of Stormfront, of her background in Nazi Germany, she was a product of her environment and its toxic beliefs. The concept of Aryan perfection and a racial hierarchy where a master race sits at the top. It is for this reason that she is attracted to Homelander, not out of genuine affection, but simply because he represents her husband's legacy and because he fits the bill of Aryan perfection that the Nazis idealized. Blonde hair, blue eyes, tall and athletic. More importantly, Homelander is the savior she has been waiting for, one who she believes will finish what the Nazis failed. In light of this, it's safe to say that as of the current third season of The Boys, Stormfront is arguably the most evil character as of yet in terms of her basic motivation. Stan Edgar is looking to boost Vought's price per share. Homelander is devious and guilty of many crimes himself, but when you get down to it, it's all a misguided attempt at finding affection. Yes, they are both evil, but their basic desires are likely to be appeased at some point. Stormfront, however, is simply evil for the sake of hatred, and it's likely that her endgame will have more far-reaching consequences. So despite her long tenure on Earth, it's a tragedy on her part that her personal development has been stunted, primarily in the area of her discriminatory views. Being as old as she is, and a longtime spectator of human history, she would have known that no movement based on hatred has ever lasted or produced anything other than needless suffering. The Nazis, they lost the war. The Confederacy, it collapsed. The apartheid regime, it was abolished. And as modern science would tell us, 
We as human beings are a unified species that cannot be biologically divided into discrete types. Or to borrow a quote, as the late T'Challa said it best, we are all part of one single tribe. So no, despite her claims to have kept up with the times, Stormfront clearly remains a relic of the past, a product of a dead fascist regime that propagated despicable views. Beyond the fact that she kills innocent civilians out of her discrimination, Stormfront's greatest threat is the influence that she brings to the public, as highlighted in this segment when an average layman becomes radicalized by her views and takes matters into his own hands. And if her discrimination weren't condemning enough, Stormfront is ultimately guilty of a general lack of regard for human life, regardless of any category. Who can measure the amount of suffering she has caused by her experimentation with Compound V and the casual disposal of her subjects once they have exhausted their usefulness? All this for the morally insane goal of creating an army of superpowered people to control the world and mold it how she sees fit. If that's not the definition of a psychopath, then I don't know what is. And even if she does attain her end goal of cleansing the world, it's likely that her discrimination would still have no end. A person given to bigotry has no limits. If all she lives for is hatred, then sooner or later she will find another category of individuals to despise. This time probably the B-tier superheroes with less remarkable powers like Gecko or Doppelganger. As chance would have it, she meets her just demise, dying alone in a deformed state as she faces the reality that what she envisioned will never come to pass.